Good morning and welcome to Green TV for July 17, 2012. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Schumbedo. Yesterday afternoon we got the USDA's crop progress and condition ratings. Corn and soybeans continue to fall very drastically on the good to excellent ratings. Logan, what are we looking at? Yeah, Brock, when we take a look at the table here, it kind of lays out what we saw come out in yesterday's crop conditions report. As you can see now, 31% of this crop is now rated good to excellent. That was down 9% on the week here. And if you compare it to 2011, last year at this time, we were looking at 66% of this crop rated good to excellent. 34% uh, of this soybean crop now rated good to excellent. That's a 6% decline from last week, well below where we saw it last year. Same situation as corn there. And uh, for spring wheat, minor downgrade there, down 1% on good to excellent to 65% now rated good to excellent. The trade's really focused on corn and soybeans here at this, this point right now, Brock. Corn, this corn crop is really hurting. Yeah, it is. On a national scale, it looks like we're falling very quickly on the good to excellent ratings. If you take a look at where we were compared to last year, the blue line, we're very far below where we were last year, continuing to fall rapidly. The important part of this chart is to look at the red line, the poor to very poor condition ratings, how those have increased sharply over the last several weeks. We actually have more of the crop in the poor to very poor category than we do in the good to excellent ratings right now. Okay. So that's starting to be a very concerning uh, for a crop nationally. But more specifically, Iowa is starting to catch up to where Illinois and Indiana are on the poor to very poor condition ratings. Right. So that's something we're going to have to pay attention to moving forward. Yeah, Brock, well, if we take a look here at kind of the precipitation outlook over the next six to ten days, it's really not looking good here uh, for the Corn Belt. As you can see, the area that really needs precipitation the most at this point, areas of Illinois, uh, Indiana, and as you said before there, this area in Iowa, is now going to actually be, be receiving well below average precipitation here on average over the next six to ten days. Not a lot of relief there. If we turn our attention to what temperatures we're expecting here, as you can see here, the temperatures aren't going to help anything either there. Above average temperature expected for the majority of the Corn Belt, specifically that area of the Western Corn Belt right now that people are really focused on. Let's hop over to Firetip Rock, see how the trade's uh, kind of reacting here this morning. Yeah, the market did open up sharply last night. We approached right. that all-time high of 7.99 three quarters. I think we hit up about 7.92 on the nearby mm -hmm. contract mm -hmm. for corn. If you take a look at where, what we're doing right now in Chicago, old crop corn is up five and three quarters. New crop is up five and three quarters as well. Soybeans, you know, slightly negative this morning, down about one and three quarters, down two on the new crop. Uh, wheat just slightly positive, two and up two and a half in Chicago, and Kansas City is up uh, nine as well. Yeah. So we've seen a little bit of a mixed trade this morning. I think this is a time of period where we're going to see some consolidation. We've reached very lofty levels. Right. Soybeans, we've approached sixteen dollars on the new crop contract, and corn, like we said earlier, has approached uh, that all-time high of seven ninety nine and three quarters. So these are pretty lofty levels. Some good spots to maybe take a little bit of a breather here and consolidate. Yeah, certainly, Brock. You know, I was talking to you earlier. We're really not looking at guys right now putting a top on this market. If conditions continue to deteriorate, uh, you know, we certainly could see the market rally higher. But we did see $8 on that new crop corn and $16 on soybeans, really. We saw some motivated sellers around that point. Maybe it's a good time at this point to maybe look at some puts. As we've seen the market rally substantially here, the premiums on those puts have really gotten sucked out of those of those uh, puts there. So that might not be a bad idea. If you have any questions about your marketing strategy or want to kind of hash over what the market's doing right now, give us a call at the office, 877 472 4607. We can set you up with a demo of the FireTip trading platform. I think that kind of wraps up our show here for Tuesday morning, Brock. Thanks a lot for joining us. Have a good day.